We at Southampton Elementary School are working every day to build a unique environment where the principles, practices, and habits of the leader in me come together to help our children develop 21st century skills. By implementing the seven habits of happy kids, our students are becoming the best citizens they can be in the classroom and out in the world. Habit one, be proactive. You're in charge of you. Habit two, begin with the end in mind. Have a plan. Habit three, put first things first. Work first, then play. Habit four, think win-win. Everyone can win. Habit five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Listen before you talk. Habit six, synergize. Together is better. Habit seven, sharpen the saw. Balance feels best. Our goal is to provide the children of SES with a common language and tools to be both independent thinkers and interdependent members of a school community. We hope to foster a pride in themselves and their school community that they can carry with them wherever they may go. To be proactive means that you do something before someone asks you to do it. Um, I sit crisscross applesauce with, the eye, with my eyes on my teacher and I, and, I li and I have my ears open and I'm sitting crisscross applesauce with my hands folded in my lap. You can play nice with other kids and everybody can have a turn, not just you. Habit three is put first things first. Like in journeys, you do your work first, then if your teacher says yes, you can read a book or work in your work to finish folder, you may do that. In school, I synergize. I work together with my friends. Well, I use it by when somebody, when anybody needs help, I would help them as a team. Oh, sometimes I comfort others when they, their feelings are hurt. It means like if we're playing something, everybody can play and everybody will win. It means to do homework first and then I have time to do other things while not rushing at the last minute. Listening to my teacher and seeing what she has to say on the topic what we're doing so in case it answers the question that I'm going to ask. It means like doing your homework first and then doing and then playing. My favorite habit is be proactive. I'm in charge of me uh, when I'm being proactive. I would like to talk about seek first to understand and then to be understood. It means that you have to hear someone if they're speaking and when it's their turn to speak, you're not supposed to interrupt them or let them speak and let them say what they need to say. My favorite habit is habit one. I be proactive. I'm in charge of me. I think before I do something. I do your important work before you do something, like play. My favorite habit is think when win. Do all the work, then play. Synergize means to work together. I sharpen the saw by eating my lunch. I'm in charge of me. I like to have a plan. I put first I put first things first at home too. By doing my homework first and then my playtime. I incorporate the seven habits into my art class by going along with not only elements of art, but also with different styles that students are learning. And then we reflect and we talk about the seven habits and how to be proactive, um, how to plan ahead. We all incorporate the seven habits in our classroom by treating one another with respect, understanding the needs of each other. Um, one student may need more attention than another and the kids are not petty in behavior. They all accept that they all have their needs met. So I pride myself on making sure that they all take care of one another like a family. 
The first being is that it's a process that's infused in everything that we do. It is not a prepackaged type program. It is not uh, something where we say, okay, now it's seven habits time. The habits are everywhere throughout our school. It's not something that is separate uh, and by itself. It's really, it's the plate that holds everything together. Because our goal here is to develop leaders, uh, develop leadership skills with our staff, develop leadership skills with our students, and really what we're doing is we're trying to develop one leader, one child at a time. Well, the highlights of the seven habits is that it brings us all together with a common language. The seven habits root and ground our children into um, feeling that they have something that can empower them to love more, to care about each other more, to just be really good people. And this is really what we need in our world today, is to be good to one another and to show that we all have gifts. And our gifts are very great and very powerful. And this gives us an opportunity to help our children to shine in no matter what they do, how big, how small it is, but to really feel that they have something that they can give back to the world.